2008 has been a busy year for both the private and the public sector of the Western Cape. And undoubtedly, one of the key announcements of the year has been the launch of the Cape Town Film Studios. The announcement was made in May and will see the government and the city of Cape Town working very closely on the 430 million rand investment. Debbie Sharwood spoke to the newly appointed CEO of the studio at the recent AGM of the Cape Town Film Commission. One of the most exciting projects in the Western Cape became a reality earlier this year with the finalization of a deal to build a world-class film studio complex in Cape Town. The deal has been a long time coming, but newly appointed CEO of the complex, Nico Decker, believes it was worth the wait. I think it was. Um, our alternatives are not great. Uh, we don't have, as I said, that kind of infrastructure. It took a long time, it's true and probably lots of politics, but also we have now very dedicated shareholders, you know, and Nan Singh, uh, Video Vision, Marcel Golding from ETV, and some video investments, they are totally committed. They are also committing their own funds, and I've got no doubt in my mind that this is going to be a major, major investment, but also a major jump in the future of the film industry. In 2004, filmmaker Anand Singh was chosen as the preferred bidder to develop the complex, the total investment value of which is in excess of 430 million rand. The project sees the provincial government working alongside the city of Cape Town, and investment promotion agency Westgro has been largely responsible for the planning becoming a reality. We have so much confidence in investment of the film production studio which now allows us to produce full-length feature films. So whilst we've been having in the past inquiries from Bollywood to want to shoot some movies here, not just the short uh, um, advertisements or the short um, uh, sh the short-lived films, we now have the ability to do full-length feature films and do all the post-production inside of the Western Cape. The studio will be located in Four, just outside Cape Town, and involves the construction of bulk infrastructure, an upgrade to the R301 highway, as well as the construction of the buildings themselves. Phase one, uh, which will be completed at the beginning of 2010, will already accommodate four major studios, production offices, workshops, infrastructure, and that would already be forming the basis and would be enough infrastructure to host at least, I would say, two major feature films uh, at any given time. The development is expected to boost the film sector in the province and add to the region's attractiveness as the destination of choice for foreign productions. For the very first time, we are going to have film studios in Africa, Hollywood-style film studios, able to accommodate shoots that normally won't come to Africa or South Africa. You know that we've got a great reputation, I think, for our crew and locations. But uh, when it comes to a full production coming to the country, people wanting to use indoor filming and bolt sets, we've got, we have got nothing. This is going to be the first, so it's historical. It's going to help us, I think, to bring in billions of rands of economic impact to South Africa and the Western Cape. Filmmakers in the province will be watching for further developments in the building of the studio complex, with the whole region looking forward to attracting the big budget productions that until now have had to head to other destinations.